Okay, so today I want to talk to you about putting the uh, the Note 2 that's unlocked. This is the T-Mobile version. I have it here. See T-Mobile? Okay. And we're going to put it on the Straight Talk AT&T version. Okay, so it's a blue little card. Um, if you get the pink one, it's going to be the T-Mobile one. Um, but I have some homebrew settings that I want to talk to you about. So you go to settings, right? And they're actually to make your phone faster. For some reason, I got faster speeds my aunt and I both have Note ones, and we did a, a speed test in various locations, and I got faster speeds using this. This I, I did have a custom ROM that supposedly had uh, 3G hack, but um, also on top of that, I had these homebrew settings, which were giving me pretty good speeds. So what you got to do is you go to mobile networks, and you go to access point names. Okay. So here, this is the one. Let's open the one that comes with it. This, when I put in the chip, it gave me these settings. It gave me the WAP uh, singular and all this uh, singular settings. And you know what? It calls out, but it doesn't have an inter internet. I'm going to add a new APN. So you click down here and add. You're going to click the name. For the hell of it, I want to call it AT&T since it's AT&T service. Okay, so you can call it whatever you want. You can call it my network. It's not going to appear on the top the way you want it to. Um, like it's not going to appear AT&T up there or anything. It's just in this area, just for you. So here we're going to put a a t t dot n v n o. Okay. So then the next step would be going to proxy, and proxy we're going to leave it as is. We're not going to touch it. Port, we're going to leave it as is. We're not going to touch it. Password and username, nothing. Server, nothing. We're going to um, scroll down to MMSC. Now, please, people, if you test these settings, let me know if your MMS is working. Okay, so here we're going to put H. Some people say not to put HTTP. I'm putting it down. HTTP double dot slash slash. Oops. Keep forgetting I got to hold it down to get the double dots. Okay. Forward, forward, slash. Then we're going to go M, M, S, C, dot, singular, okay, dot com. So, then you check it, make sure, and then you click OK. We go to MMS Proxy. This one we do need. Okay, for the proxy, we're going to put, let's go to numerals, 66 dot, where's the dot? 66 six, um, dot 209 dot 11 dot 33. Okay, so this is the MMS proxy. Now we're gonna scroll, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to MMS port, and the port is 80. Okay, then we're gonna go to MCC, and 310 is fine. MNC and 410 is fine if you already have that authentication type. Just leave it as is. Don't touch it. I have it. If you did touch it. Put it on internet plus MMS, okay? And um, APN type, just leave it as is. We're done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is click down here. Make sure you do this because I always kept messing up. I kept going, hitting back. Make sure you save it. Okay, so now you've got the AT&T and you're going to click which one you're interested in. So you're going to click the one you want and then we're going to restart. We're going to back out and restart. And because I'm in a basement, I don't have enough signal. And we're not going to be able to show you that it works. But test it out and let me know how it works for you. These are homebrew settings. What we're changing here is, let me go into this phone to show you. I actually took a picture to remember it. Make sure you take a picture because these settings get deleted and screwed up. Okay, so here... 
what we're having different is we're not going to add a proxy and we're not going to and you're going to take out the port 80 i'm sorry port 80 you're not supposed to put okay and no proxy the only proxy you want to put is the one from the mms port and from the um mms proxy so those are the only two ones that you you are putting so the different thing here that we're doing is just taking out the proxy and the port and that allows you to do speedtest.net because if you have the proxy it won't allow you to do the speedtest.net and the port I'm not sure I've, I've had it on and I've had it off most people say to leave it off so I'm leaving it off but it did work speedtest.net did work with 80 and I'm getting better speeds okay so that's it see you guys later I hope you enjoy your unlocked um, Note 2. Before you leave, just make sure it, it withheld the settings. So you're going to go back into settings, go into more, go into mobile, go into access points, and see that you have the correct one selected. And so you're good to go.